What is up, Sagittarius? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you know what is going on with your sign for the month of June 2019. What is going on with you guys? I know y'all are fresh and clean out there. I'm feeling like you're oh so clean. You're oh so mean, honey. Don't hurt them too much, all right? Please don't hurt them. Listen, shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so so much for all of the love and the light that you guys have been bringing over to my page shout out to everyone all right listen i got this new low 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 explicit deck that was sent to me through the amazon wish list now so i opened up a patreon so y'all can go on patreon because that deck is a little bit explicit and every time i pull them cards out them I ain't trying to get my page wiped out. So, we're going to have a brand new situation going on over there at Patreon. It's a membership thing. So, we have two different tiers. We have a $1.99 and a $4.99 tier. All right? The $1.99 tier is just for you guys to have the uh, $1.99 monthly membership where you guys can come on and catch my live free readings. Okay? So, you guys will be able to come and experience... Uh, three card spread where if you you know i'm gonna make sure that i do it at least two to three times a week probably more than that i'm probably going to be on there on my off weeks a lot on the patreon so those who are not able to purchase a full personal reading you guys can hop on over there with that 199 membership monthly membership and you guys can um get readings over there okay so um and then the 499 membership tier is where we'll be doing the explicit adult conversations we will be using the cards with the sexually explicit imagery and we will be having some serious conversations um i am developing a chat line where you guys will be able to call in and, you know, I'll be able to take live readings over the phone and it'll be live and, you know, we can talk. You guys can see the spread and everything. It's going to be wonderful. So I don't want you guys to jump on Patreon just yet. You guys can just go and check out the page and just see the link. I'm still learning Patreon. If there's anyone that knows how to use Patreon and can help me get everything set up, Please email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? Because um, I'm still kind of learning it. That's why I'm not really rolling it out, rolling it out like that. The page is up, but we not. I'm, I, I need to make sure I have it right because, honey, I want these late night. We're going to have some late night come. Oh, honey, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And y'all be able to call in, speak to me. We can hear each other's voices and... That energy just, and then we're private. We're in, we behind the wall of Patreon. Just can't anybody just come in there. Like, you gotta be a member of the Scorpion Reds Collectors Gatherers crew, okay? So, enough of that. I just wanted to give you guys the drop. So, like, you guys are getting the first drop on the Patreon and this deck. I really wanna show y'all this deck, y'all. I really do. I want to show it, but I just, okay, 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 let me just, okay, this is this deck, can y'all see it, it don't, it ain't doing too, too much, yeah, okay, and then y'all, all y'all already know I got my tarot deck of sexual magic, I got some more decks coming in, I have another love oracle deck coming in, so yes, it's gonna be, oh, and then I have this new spread that I'm developing, I'm mixing it up with the tea leaf, and it's to get into your sex secrets. Like what's really going on hidden. Like for people that really, 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 really want to know the deep, the deep, deep, deep tea. Honey. That deck right there going to tell all. Because that, okay, anyway. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it go. But anyway. So, enough with my rambling on that. Now we about to get into the house announcements about how to uh, book a reading. So, thank you again for anyone that's, um 
booked readings in the past present and in the future if you want to book a reading with scorpion reds tarot you click that about tab all right there's a booking link there that says scorpion reds tarot and simply book me again it says scorpion reds tarot and simply book me and what you want to do is book and then link up with me right under that booking link you'll see the link for my instagram okay as well as the link for my paypal and the link for my amazon wish list and as well as the link for my patreon so all of my links are there so after you book with me you can link up with me on instagram send me a personal private message on there and say hey reds i uh, booked the reading on this and at a time and we'll connect there for the video chat all right if you don't um have an instagram or prefer not to use instagram you can always use my email which is scorpion reds at gmail and you can download google hangouts and we can connect there all right and there's also an option in the menu when you book if you do not want to get on camera and have a face-to-face -face, you know dialogue with me and if you prefer to just send me your question and want a direct upload of your reading to YouTube there is an add-on okay it's called um, recap slash private upload you can use that add-on if you want me to record the whole experience of your reading and you want a private upload of your reading to YouTube or if you just want to send me the question and have the private upload because you don't want to get on camera you can use that add-on and again that is the recap slash private upload which is in the menu when you're selecting your reading okay so um, make sure if you're not getting on camera with me that you send me only the question of what you want to know please don't tell me the situation going on surrounding the question as to why you're asking it make sure that you only tell me the question that you need to know i don't need to know the person's name their birth date none of that stuff just let me know what you want to know we're going to rock and roll from there okay so if anyone wants to show love and light to the page as like i said that that came from the amazon wish list all of this stuff right here has ever been um love donations through paypal donations um that's where we got the tea leaf um my girl callie sent over this game of thrones deck which we're using today all of this is love and light that you guys have been sending through support through the page so shout out to all of you guys that has been sending support because you guys make it possible for these awesome spreads that we have here and <laughs> for us to go to the dungeon what are we going to call it what are we going to call our little lair okay over at patreon our little lair the dungeon, the lair, okay? What you trying to say? What, what we collecting and we gathering and we bringing on back to the lair, honey, and talking about it in private. <laughs> oh, honey, let me show y'all my speaker, baby. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm just chitting and chatting. All of y'all think, bitch, I got my speaker. Mm-mm. What y'all trying to do over at Patreon? <laughs> what y'all trying to do, boo? I'm trying to tell y'all it's about to get live. It's about to get live and in living color. Anyway, Father God, let's get into this reading. Father, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. We are just delighted and <laughs> just elevated in the joy, Father God. Our feet are up off of the ground. We are caught willing all over this universe, Father God. We are just literally feeling liberated liberated father god look the birds is chirping the bees is flying around listen the trees is swaying and singing in the wind father god we are just feeling just anointed we just blessings after blessings after blessings we've been working hard father trust me we've been working hard but honey we feel the glory oh we feel it oh it's coming in father god i listen to me the way we've been working like a runaway negro slave <laughs> Father, the way we've been, listen, we, the way Sagittarius has been working, you would have think that they was running away from Massa or something like that, okay? Something was, something in their life was feeling like Massa, okay? They need to get away from Massa, okay? All right? We running. We running into glory. They don't know our story, okay? Victory. Victory becometh her, okay? Let me take a swig. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So listen, Father God, thank you for just resting. I just, I said, I, I just heard resting and enjoying in me. What does that mean? For resting and enjoying in me. I feel like that means, I feel like that means, Father God, thank you for resting 
and enjoying a sanctuary within me. I think that's what that means. Because I just heard it in my head, but I have no idea what that means. Resting and enjoying within me. So it's like, Father God, thank you for resting and enjoying within me. Kind of finding a safe haven within my heart. You know, yeah, that's really what I'm getting. I like that Sagittarius. I don't even know where that came from. That's just that's just spirit talking in my head, Father. Come on now with the glory. They don't know our story, Father. Please give us guidance for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of June 2019. Thank you so much, Father God, for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. And thank you so much just for all the doors that have been opening up for um, the sign of Sagittarius. Father God, please give us guidance in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for all of the blessings in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Sagittarius guidance for June. All right, let's get into this. Got a little Raphael Sadiq playing around in the back, y'all. Look, come on. Give me some guidance. What is Sagittarius spirit number for June? Self-discipline. This is in reverse. Things I didn't shake Just to make it by and by. What is he saying? I'd rather be walking than flying in the sky. Things are getting shaky just to make it by and by. Can y'all hear the music? And fly. I'd rather be walking than flying in the sky. Things are getting shaky just to make it by and by. Environment. Environment. I really did feel like that has a lot to do about environment and your heart chakra. I feel like there's no self-discipline in regards to you being rooted and grounded. This is the root chakra, and this is in the reverse. For some reason, said I'd rather be walking than flying in the sky. Things are getting shaky. Just trying to make it by and by. I want y'all to think about those words real quick, right? And right now they're saying they just keep saying bye, bye fly right I just wanted y'all to kind of I don't know I'm hoping y'all can hear it but I just had to sit with that music for a second I feel like there's something in your environment I feel like your environment is your heart, your environment is your sanctuary, your environment is your comfort, your environment is everything that you love. And um, 44, this most definitely has to do with your foundation. I feel like there has to be some order, there needs to be some type of serious management and there needs to, there's some problem solving that needs to go. Something needs to change where you're not having self-discipline and something that's in your environment that's that's that it's like you need to be more disciplined and be more astute and be more grounded and making sure your environment is healthy is clean that it is literally everything that your heart truly desires but for some reason it's something in your environment okay Okay, something in your environment that I feel like is um, it's off balance a little bit because four takeaway one, that's number three. So that's like, I feel like it's something might be off with some type of communication, something that is knocking your creativity off, something that's knocking your energy off. Um, 
I feel like there could be a certain level of fantasy and illusion, you know what I'm saying, going on in regards to a situation that is just knocking you off. It's knocking you off. And I feel like for some reason you don't have no self-discipline to kind of like change it and you're kind of allowing this thing to unroot your environment, you know? Good runs all through you. I can't help myself. That's why I truly give you what you need. Because you love me for me. This for Sagittarius. I'm sorry because I really want to turn up this uh, <laughs> this my but I don't want them to block my video. <laughs> mm. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But I'm living down. That shit say you are shining beneath me. You go that far. <laughs> oh my gracious. You got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Wands in reverse. The Chariot. The Wheel of Fortune. Come on now, goddamn Sagittarius. Listen. Knight of Pentacles. Me to come to bed. You then each night. In three of swords. That's what I will do. Peace be with you. Felt like it was something else. Alright, so basically what I'm getting here, I feel like there's a lack of self-discipline in regards to you really moving away from this environment where there was a disruption in your own foundation. There was an ending. There was an ending due to a third party situation. Now, I don't know if that was mixed up in the deck. I don't know when and where it popped out, but... We're clearly seeing that there was a third party situation here. And I feel like this person stabbed you in your heart. And clearly, it destroyed everything that y'all had, everything that you love. It destroyed your environment. Y'all might possibly be struggling a little bit financially after realizing that this person was cheating. And, you know, I feel like you might be trying to rebuild. You guys are possibly moving. All right, we see the chariot. There might be some things going on financially right now in your environment where um, because of this breakup or this separation after this person is moving out or you are moving, you and your family are just completely moving to a new place. But because of this betrayal, it ruined a foundation here you know like there's not any commitment there there's no trust there there's no there's no there's nothing there anymore you know what I'm saying this is the first card and this is the second card clarifying the first card and then this is the ending and this is basically saying that in regards to the self-discipline this person still moves wherever you move this person moves with you you see what i'm saying this person feels like <laughs> they see you moving this chapter is closed this chapter is closed this ending is over but for some reason they know that you have a weak heart for them and it and and <laughs> you know they feel like they have a place in your environment and they feel like you don't have any self-discipline to like really block them out and truly get your ass up in your goddamn chariot and move, you know? Because it's saying right now that even though that this is over double time, double time, this person is still 
attempting again to pierce that heart once more. Because as you can see, this is a heart that might have experienced healing already. And these, these, these blades are about to pierce the heart. So, ever you haven't experienced this heartbreak yet and you don't know that this person is cheating on you no i'm not no 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 no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. because this these foundations already ended this person's gonna come back and try to do this again because they feel like you you lack self-discipline you're not really it's like you trying to get you trying to move away because the foundation is broke Financially, spiritually, mentally, everything. There's no more passion there. Like, there's no love there. It's like, even if you reconnect with this person, it's just dead. And it's like, you beating a dead horse. Like, literally, it's, it's dead. It's dead. And every time this person comes into your life, it leaves you bankrupt. Bankrupt. But however, this person feels like they can do this again. They feel like, and there's someone else there. That's what broke the foundation to begin with. But they feel like they can do this again because for some reason, you don't have no self-discipline over your environment. You let your heart control your environment and your heart. You see what I'm saying? The green, the heart chakra is in the center of your environment. And you allow your heart to control Having self-discipline over something that you know good and goddamn well is not good for you. You know what I'm saying? So this is a warning to you, Sagittarius, or whoever this is dealing with the Sagittarius. Because I don't know if this is what you feel that you need to check about yourself. And stop allowing matters of the heart to affect your environment. Where you are not grounded in having self-discipline in regards to your environment. And you just be letting shit go. You know what I'm saying? Because it's somebody that just be letting shit go just because they love somebody and they know good and goddamn well. I love them, but do the fuck they love me? Come on. Do they love me? Once, twice, three times the charm. Oh, they about to come back and do this a third time? Look. They fucked up once. They fucked up twice. Three times the charm. You feel what I'm saying? Listen, but I know one thing Sagittarius is saying. <laughs> I'm getting up because I feel like even though there's this issue of self-discipline in regards to this matter of the heart with whoever this person is that y'all had this family with, because this is someone that you had a family with or this is someone that you lived with because someone had to move out. Okay, this signifies someone moving out. This signifies someone that y'all had a connection, like y'all were ever like um, common law married or something. You see what I'm saying? Like this was, this is divorce. Du divorce, 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 divorce. Over, 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 over. Big, big over, bitch. Big over, big over. And I felt like Sagittarius might have had to go through this a few times, but now third time's the charm because this motherfucker's going to try to come back and do this shit yet again. And Sagittarius are like, oh, no, 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 bitch. Mm -mm. I got my emotions together this time. I got my emotions together this time. Yeah, I recognize my error in the past was I had no self-discipline and I allowed my heart to rule my better motherfucking judgment and my better judgment is telling me bitch it's time to get 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 it so listen I'm turning this over I am turning that over cause it's over cause once you do that it's a whole bunch of fours right here cause we focusing on number one and foundations okay Number one in foundations. We problem solvers over here. Okay? We need order. We need something reliable. We need something that got some structure. We need someone that's going to put their hard work in. You understand what I'm saying? That's what number four mean. Alright? Alright. So I'm turning that card around. Because we ain't, we ain't having no lack of self-discipline over here. Especially not with my saggies. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Alright? Like I said, we getting in this car. We be in a star. 
We know who we are. We going far, bitch. And God told us, oh, honey, get in your car and get, get, get it. Because, honey, you riding right into some good luck and fortune, honey. Those days of sadness and people betraying you and not knowing your worth and shit you not knowing your worth because shit you should have really never sat there and let someone fuck you over one two three times the motherfucker charm but it's because this person is arrogant this person think that they could come back and do the same shit because they think that you lack self-discipline do you hear what i'm saying but we're gonna show them better oh no 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 mm -mm. No, no, no. We're going to show them better because it don't matter how long it's going to take. Yes. Yes. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck, but it don't matter. We moving. And you see how close you are to reaching that new beginning, that new pinnacle, that new offer that the universe has to give you. You right there, baby. Reach a little further. Girl, hop up off that damn um horse, do a couple sets, squats, some sit-ups or some shit, okay? Stretch real quick and get your ass back up on that goddamn horse. I don't give a fuck if you got to stand on a horse on your tippy toes. Bitch, you going to get that pinnacle. We just going to find another goddamn uh, uh, way. We going to plan a different goddamn strategy, okay? That's all that is. Girl, get down and stretch, bitch. Get down and stretch because this shit here... Okay, that shit was hidden in the deck. That shit is that was hidden. Y'all see how that shit was hidden? This motherfucker don't want to see what this bitch is trying to do because this is how the spread was trying to end. But my spirit said, uh uh, bitch, it's something lurking in that deck. Okay, because what you trying to do, what Sagittarius is trying to do is, I'm done, I'm done. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Getting in my car and getting the fuck. Okay? Good fortune. I'm almost there. Are we there yet? I am almost there. Oh, but no, this bitch had to be lurking. This bitch had to be lurking. Because what? They thought you was uncertain. They thought you was uncertain about your shit. They thought that they could come on in here because you ain't got no self-discipline. They could come. No, 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 no. No. Because I'm warning them. I'm warning them about you, bitch. And I'm turning this car where it need to be. Because, bitch, you don't have, you don't, no, 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 mm-mm, mm-mm. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Three times, I'm going to punch you in your face. Now, I'm going to have to punch myself in my face because you just stupid right with them. So, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't as stupid as you are, bitch. I am not as stupid, no, 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 mm-mm. That's why I'm moving. That's why I'm moving. That's why we're moving. That's why clearly we're moving, moving. These are movement cards, people moving. I don't know if they moving the fuck out or if you moving the fuck out, but they moving the fuck out of wherever your old house is. Someone is definitely getting kicked the fuck out. Okay? It's official, like a whistle. It's over and I'm moving ahead in my life, big time. <laughs> so, listen... Who, who, who's, who ain't got no self-discipline? Oh, bitch, I'm going to show you better than that motherfucker. Um, to tell you, get the fuck out my environment. Problem solver. Order. Management. Oh, I'm going to show you who the boss. Mm-hmm. You shall not and you will not get in the way of my destiny, honey. No, no, no. Mm-mm. Let me go. Okay, yes. Sagittarius, ooh, ooh, Sagittarius, uh -uh, that's devil dick on arrival, that's devil dick on arrival, I'm fighting for survival, that's devil dick on arrival, I'm fighting for survival, um, I shall not be tempted by the beast, I shall not be tempted by the beast, okay? All right, I feel like whoever this is, they probably be giving you some long piping. Whoever it is, mm -hmm, they be giving you some good loving. But you say, I know, and that's why I'm having accelerated motion. I'm getting the fuck away from that motherfucker because I will not be tempted by this bitch, and I don't want this motherfucker to know where I live. None of that shit. Okay? Go and fuck somebody else's life up. Okay? I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. All right? You might not even be attracted to this person no more because you see him as some devil dick or some devil puss. 
You're toxic. You're poison. Never trust a big button to smile. That girl is poison. Poison. What? Woo! -hoo! Poison. God damn, I almost choked. <clears throat> Let me let you know. Sagittarius is having accelerated motion. They getting the fuck up out of here. Okay? They is wishing on a magic star. They say, bitch, uh-uh. No. I got to go. I got to go. Base chakra. Father God told me I wasn't rooted. He told me I wasn't rooted. I was following my heart and I was allowing my heart, my foolish heart, okay? Fuck me up. No okay? Because I thought my heart was balanced and that shit wasn't balanced neither. And I got my heart balanced and I got my base chakra balanced. I feel protected. I feel anointed. I feel grounded. And I'm aware of devil dick. I'm not. What? If you don't get on out of here, okay? I feel like, listen, Sagittarius walk around carrying a vial of holy water at this point. Okay, they got, they got a vial of holy water. Right, listen, are you walking around with some black tourmaline around your neck? Because you like, Father, I rebuke all negativity in the name of Jesus. Keep it off of me. I need to keep some protection next to my chest. Are y'all walking around with black tourmaline? Okay, around your neck, honey. And about and about a holy water, a Jesus tears in your purse, honey. You say, uh-uh, uh-uh. That motherfucker try to come and fuck my life up. That motherfucker try to come and take me for everything I got and leave me with nothing. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck how good that motherfucker be stroking. Okay? He be stroking. Okay? That's what I be talking about. <laughs> I mean, stroking. Be stroking to the east. Be stroking to the west. He be stroking to the one that I love the best. He be stroking. That's the fucking problem. You be stroking to the east, to the west, to whichever one you love the best, whichever one gonna pay out. Whichever one gonna lay out. And I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I thought you knew it. I gotta go back. I'm not. I'm sorry. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Give me some more guidance for my Sagittarius. Look, they getting rooted. They moving fast, and they rooted, and they grounded, and they know where they're going. That's why something in my heart said, let me just have a quick talk to them about this self-discipline being in the reverse. Okay? And then we seen that shit creeping in the low low. <laughs> in the low low. And that's why we turned that around. And there we go, gosh, saying, say yes, uh-huh. Yeah, we got you together now. We good. We can continue. Woo, firm foundation. What I told you, God got your back, honey. God got your back. Okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Double up on the end. Listen, all y'all whole reading is nothing but fours. Nothing but fours. I don't know if y'all seen a whole bunch of number fours all around y'all. Y'all been seeing four, four, four. Listen. Y'all's spirit number is number four for the month of June. And y'all are most definitely going to be demonstrating the firm back. Because these motherfuckers is on the attack. They trying to come back with the fuck shit. And we said, oh no. I ain't about to be laying, laying low like some motherfucking strange fruit. Bitch, you better get the hell on out of here. Better get the hell on out of here. Come on, father. Give me guidance. Oh, what is this saying? There will not be no disruption. <laughs> Listen, I'm not fucking with y'all right the fuck on now. Because Sagittarius said, uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, uh Reds. Uh-uh, Reds. No, you right. You right. Thank you for that self-check moment. Because you know what? I, you know what? Mm-mm. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. It be, listen, it be, it be, it be, the, it be, the, it be, mm, I was about to say it be, the, no, I'm not gonna say it. Because that's too, that's too, uh-uh. That's too vulgar. That's too vulgar. That's too vulgar. <laughs> Let's just say it be the USDA prime beef. That That's all it was. It was the USDA prime beef. That's all it was. Mm -hmm. Someone liked to stay in the cockpit. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone was flying low in the cockpit because this is a low hanging fruit this is a mm -mm, no that one don't know how to fly high so you was liking to hang in the cockpit in the in the in, 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 in the low fly zone okay in the no fly zone okay no okay what is it saying growth all right it says what is it saying growth 
seek out a mentor or God. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Okay. That was in the reverse, but we're going to rebuke that in the name of Jesus, too, because we're going to grow. I'm We're going to force you to grow over here, okay? Because we ain't taking no half-step and shit, no lack of self-discipline. We ain't listening to that shit, okay? No, you're going to get it together, okay? Because we about upliftment and growth over here, okay? And we're going to correct it when the shit's coming out wrong, because y'all seen it. It did come out like this, like somebody is not having self-discipline and someone ain't really trying to grow. Someone ain't trying to listen to reason and they going to miss their blessings this season because they want to be hard headed. OK, but OK. So to my Sagittarius that want growth, we're just going to we're going to focus on you because we don't already talk to them. Right. We did. We address them. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. All right, baby girl, you are in a new space or baby boy baby girl okay whoever whatever is clever we taking baby steps because i feel like you are just really getting yourself rooted and getting your firm foundation back together after having to sacrifice certain things that i feel like you were weak to and that were temptations to you it's just like no matter how you try to walk away this person would find some way to try to weasel or manipulate you into dealing with them and allowing them in your environment and i feel like you realize that and right now you are realizing the growth and i feel like you guys are getting help and i'm fucking with you for that I'm fucking with you for that. So let's get some guidance in regards to this unicorn. This is the Game of Thrones deck. So let's figure out what's going on in this game of life. How do we navigate this growth? Okay. How do we navigate this growth? Let's get some guidance in regards to this game of thrones. Because literally that's 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 what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's about respect. It's about respect in this crazy ass game that we play in life. Five of coins. Yes, like I said, right now, there's a Sagittarius that is most definitely feeling like they are experiencing a serious bout of financial trouble. And you guys might need to pay attention to your health because I feel like some of y'all might be working so hard because of the financial struggle that you're doing. And I mean, and that you're going through by taking a risk you know what i'm saying and leaving the situation because i really do feel like whatever situation that you left you left with nothing or that this person left you with nothing or you literally kind of like left everything behind and you just like started from scratch and some people might have had to go to like social services some people might have had to go and beg favor from family members and as you can see aria is blind right now so i feel like there's something going on in your atmosphere right now where you are blind and you're not seeing that maybe you don't really have to beg. Like, I feel like you don't have to beg. Because if Arya could see, she could see that she's right in front of a church. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if you can see that you're right in front of God's house, you don't ever have to beg for nothing in front of God's house. You understand what I'm saying? If she could see where she's at, she will understand. You go on in there, you get healing, you get shelter, you get warm, fresh meal, some clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like everything. God bless you with every single free source that you need. I feel like this Sagittarius is going through this life struggle. Kind of blinded to like the true help and the blessings that they really have. And I feel like you feel like you got to beg. You got to beg and you don't have to. Like don't never... Lower yourself too big. And I feel like maybe that's where that self-discipline in reverse comes to. Because I feel like it's something in regards to your environment that's close to your heart. It could be your kids. You know what I'm saying? It could be your kids. And I feel like, I mean, because clearly this is someone that, you know, the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all had a family. You know what I'm saying? And there might be something where financially you're feeling like you're still having to beg this temptation card in the reverse you're still having to beg this person regardless of the fact that you're moving forward and you know the good fortune and blessings is coming to you you feel like it's so far for you to reach that pinnacle but like i told you stand on top of the fucking horse bitch 
You right there at the tent. Figure it, like, stop trying to reach at it like that. Like, and find a different way to get to it. Like, just find a different way to get to it. Don't beg nobody for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I want you to pay attention to your health because I feel like somebody might be working itself almost to bad health. Like, okay? The two of cups. Yeah, you're begging someone that this is a love loss. You're still in a situation where you're begging, and that's why that growth was in the reverse. Is it two of cups in reverse? You're begging to still be in the life of someone that has literally left you out in the cold. Like, left you, left your children out in the cold. And it's like, I feel like it's, you're trying to hold on to the situation for money. And it's like, for what? God got you. And I feel like that's the thing where it's like, no self-discipline. You still feel like you have to lower yourself to beg for favor. Where if you really trust and Know that God got your back and stop allowing this shit to disrupt you and tear you apart because I feel like you allowing this shit to disrupt you and tear you apart. Listen, fuck this person. This person don't want to help you. God help you. Once you really release feeling like you need to lower yourself to beg and grovel and ask someone to help you with something and put your real true faith in God and stop letting this bullshit tear you apart and truly move forward. And like I said, stand on the motherfucking horse. Listen, God says you're right here at your good fortune and your blessings. Stop being undisciplined. Grip and have a firm foundation. Get problem solving. Number four means problem solving. Problem solving and get to your independence. Four and one. Number one means independence. It means <laughs> being driven. Leadership. New beginnings. Number four represents problem solving, order, management, hard work. Listen, you right there at your blessings. You right there at your good fortune. You work for it. You, you work hard for this. You pay for this. Stop groveling to someone that showed you. This motherfucker already showed you how much you mean to them. So why the fuck would you sit there and beg? Why why are you why are you lowering yourself when you have this right here? Stand on the motherfucking horse. Make your own way. You'll be more fortunate for it than sitting there looking like this. Begging someone. That's that's keeping you in a lack mentality. This every time you beg this person, they just show you how much they don't fuck with you. And that's why you be depressed. That's why you be stressed. That's why it took so long for you to get your ass in your chariot. You're just now getting yourself in the chariot. And it's still saying that there's still a lack of discipline. Um, you know what I'm saying? There's still a lack of discipline. And in some way you're still not growing. Even though you're moving, but it's still some shaky water there. And, and I feel like you trying to move fast. You trying to move fast. And you trying to get yourself grounded. And you trying not to let this shit disturb you no more. But at the still. I, 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 it, I feel like there's a lack of faith somewhere here. You know what I'm saying? You are. You are moving fast. You are rejecting the temptation now. You're moving forward. But at the same time. Even though I'm flipping the cards to be where I want them to be because that's where I want you to be. I cannot ignore. You know what I'm saying? Because even though I flipped this around and I wanted to show show growth, it came out in the reverse. And regardless of the fact that I changed it around, it's showing me why it was in the reverse. You're still begging someone that doesn't love you and it's fucking you up in regards to your paradigm because you're stuck in this lack mentality where you're still begging. You're begging for someone to help you financially. You're begging someone and it's stressing you out and it's fucking you up health wise. And it's like already on your mind. This person don't love you. They show you that they don't love you. They show you that they don't care about you. They show you that they don't give a fuck about your kids if y'all have kids because you're literally suffering. This person don't give a fuck. But yet you don't see that. Listen, you don't see that. You don't see that what you're doing is begging. I'm telling you what you're doing is begging. And that's why you're not growing. Because I feel like whoever this is, is feel like, no, nah, I'm strong because I'm doing this and fuck that shit, I'm moving on. But you're still begging. 
I don't care what you say. I'm telling you what the cards are saying. The card said, off break, this self-discipline was in the reverse. So let me put it back, okay? Because now I'm being forced for y'all to see what spirit sees. They see that you're maturing and trying to get your foundations together in a lot of ways. But in a lot of ways, you still got a lot of growing to do. You know what I'm saying? And please don't be offended. We have to hear the truth. We have to hear the truth. We have to. Knight of Coins. This person is never going to offer you nothing. Only person that's going to offer anything is to yourself. It's yourself. This is you being the Knight of Coins. Realizing that you're right here next to your fortune. But you like this. You like this. You like this. You know what I'm saying? Get your ass up on a horse and grab it. This person ain't even nowhere near their foundation and their blessings. Where they can have anything to offer. Nothing. They can have nothing to offer to you. Absolutely nothing. Only thing they can do is take advantage of you. And this is a conner. This is a manipulator. This is a schemer. This is a scammer. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is Diana the scammer. Do you understand? This person don't love you. This person don't even love their self. Four coins. All right? Four coins. You better hold on to every asset that you have. You better hold on to every resource that you have. You better hold yourself back from this person. You better not give nothing of yourself to this person. There is nothing to plan. There is nothing to strategize. There is nothing to come to a conclusion about. I feel like Sagittarius is keeping a whole bunch of secrets. I do feel like in some situation that Sagittarius is still dealing with this person, but they're not being tempted by them. They're still taking authority and take a leadership in the situation in regards to their foundation and they're not allowing this person to come in their come into their house into their environment and disrupt them and to, to tear their heart apart for a third time because this would be the third time the fucking third time okay the third time i need you to be stingy with yourself sagittarius I need you to understand how precious you are and how precious your energy is because, listen, you reduced this fight. You, you stopped begging. You realized, listen, lack mentality, loser mentality, begging to lose. The fuck I look like. You separated yourself. You reduced that and then you went from a five of coins to four. You reduced that energy. Because it was beneath you. And now you're holding yourself off. And you're keeping yourself. And everything that you have. Solid and close to your heart. And you ain't giving shit to nobody. And left they worth. You got to show me that you're worth it. I ain't giving shit to nobody. Okay. Right now you could be having someone begging you. At this point of time. In your life. Okay. Beggars can never be choosers. And I'm holding myself back. You might be holding some secrets. You might be holding on to something that motherfuckers don't know. Might be the fact that you're getting your ass in there. I told you you're getting your ass in that chariot and you're leaving. Y'all moving. A lot of motherfuckers don't know that. It ain't their business to know it. It ain't your fucking business. Motherfuckers ain't have shit to offer anyway. I had to have my own back. I had to have my own breath and stop letting y'all motherfuckers tear me apart and disturb my fucking environment. Catch them tease, bitch. All right? Try to come back around here with this heartbreak shit. This shit was lurking in the deck. Upright. And like I said, this is a warning for y'all because y'all don't have to allow this person in your environment. You can show some self-discipline. You don't have to allow this person in your heart to do a motherfucking thing. Because as you can see, this person can only try. This person is thinking. Those are swords. This person is thinking about trying to enter be into your environment again because they think that you're not going to be self-disciplined enough. And they think they'll be able to accomplish this defeat again. Hmm. Let's see what the fuck Sagittarius got to say to this motherfucker. No, because I don't like that. Because that spread could have started off talking about love and everything and this, this, and that. But I got to deal with the energy that's on the motherfucker table. You no, know, somebody betrayed you. Someone fucked up your foundation. Someone broke your trust. Someone 
misled you and you had to get up and go and you're so close to your blessings you just better make another plan to get to that pedestal it's right there in your face be more self-disciplined and put more work instead of begging people that shouldn't be in your fucking life anyway fuck them you better put more of your energy Making sure that your environment is good. Making sure that your health is good. Health. Health is screaming to me. Health. Some of you guys need to go to the doctor. I feel like it's something. Okay. What does this Sagittarius have to say to this person? What does Sagittarius have to say to the person in their life? What does Sagittarius have to say to this person in their life? What does Sagittarius have to say to this person? You're never far from my mind. My family and upbringers, my family and upbringing are bigger factors than I realized. I'm sorry, I just couldn't follow through with my promises. All right? So Sagittarius says, you're never far from my mind. My family upbringings are a bigger factor than I realize. And I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. So it's something that um, with this person that. And I really do feel like this, this right here has a lot to do with their family upbringing. I feel like there might have been someone and possibly their mother. They were with someone. Possibly the father was a negative, toxic temptation, a toxic relationship. They probably had a third party somewhere. Because, you know, this represents the devil card. So, you know, and a devil card in the reverse can be someone who has a full-blown affair, another family somewhere else. You understand what I'm saying? And the other person was left behind to beg to financially take care of their children. To survive. I feel like this person fucked them over and left them fucked up but no matter what this person did I feel like for a long time maybe the Sagittarius has seen their mother still begging for that person to be in their life you know what I'm saying regardless of the fact that this person didn't love them and mistreated this person emotionally I feel like this person in Sagittarius they grew up in an environment where they seen their mother go through that and they realized in this connection here that a lot of what was in their home environment was demonstrated in this connection here. And I feel like this person feels like, you know, I, and I just, I heard, I never wanted to be like my mother. I just heard that. And I feel like it's something about what says something Sagittarius did. It's, I feel like they felt like they attracted their father or they attracted someone that was just like, their father or you know what I'm saying and maybe it was something where Sagittarius is saying I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises like maybe I couldn't be everything that I could have been in this situation because I like they felt like this person that they were dating because like you see this person over here they want to offer and shit and this person is struggling and begging almost I feel like this, you know, the Sagittarius woman felt like they, they dated someone that was just like their father that this person left their mother and was cheating on their mother. They didn't work, didn't help financially, or didn't do anything financially. And they seen their mother throughout their whole life, like begging or, or borrowing or suffering financially, just struggling. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, what is it saying? It all comes down to timing. I'm still trying to find myself. I just got caught up in a moment. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like... The timing here... For this situation... With this connection... I definitely feel like you guys have kids. Um, or have a family. Or with having the thoughts of having a family together. But I feel like... Um, Sagittarius still has a lot of growing to do because they don't want to be like their mother. They don't want to be in a situation that reminds them of their mother and their father. And 
I feel like y'all's relationship was a big slap in the face of everything that they experienced during their childhood. And they never in their life thought that they would. Because they look at their mother too as like she didn't have any self-discipline because it's just like when they were younger, it's like, why you keep letting my father keep coming back? Only thing he, he like he only comes back in between breakups between like the father only came back in between breakups between whoever he was currently dating at the time. And it was like the mother will always let this person come back with empty arms. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you ain't, this, this motherfucker ain't even coming in with a loaf of bread or nothing. We already struggling and shit. And it's like, maybe as a child, you looked at this person like, mom, we can't afford for this person. Like, no. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I feel like you felt like, and I, and, and I honestly just heard like, the mother might not have left the father willingly I feel like something happened where it literally couldn't go on no more period you see what I'm saying but if the universe would have allowed it it would have continued to go on and like the mother would have kept letting them come in and out coming in and out but the universe ended it and I feel like I don't know if the father went to jail or like something happened I don't know or the father just moved on and just completely just shut y'all out and just didn't deal with y'all Period. But I don't feel like it was up to the mother. I feel like the mother didn't have any self-discipline in regards to her environment. And the mother possibly did not care. I mean, not saying that the, the mother didn't care. The mother was in love. The, the heart chakra. The heart chakra was what rooted the environment. You see what I'm saying? Sucker for love. Sucker for keep attracting people that ain't offering them nothing. And now Sagittarius is like, I'm not going to be like my mom. I still got a lot of growing to do. Give me guidance in regards to what this person is dealing with Sagittarius. How this person is dealing with Sagittarius has to feel, feels towards Sagittarius. And this person ain't offer nothing and hold back. I feel like this person is holding back. You know, this person is holding back. And being stingy with their money. And I feel like it's not that this person don't have money. They just not giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? It's like Sagittarius is begging this person that they love. That don't love them. To help them financially. Because them and the kids are struggling. And this person ain't really moving towards being in nothing solid and committed with you. And they're not offering you no money. Because they, they're being stingy. He says, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. Two. My mind and heart always comes back to you. Right? Oh my God, how does this person feel about Sagittarius? Our connection still affects me. You are an angel. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. Up again. And I feel like I feel like Sagittarius has told this person, like you're just like my father or you're just like my mother. You know what I'm saying? And like, I still got a lot of going to do. Like, I still got shit going on. And I feel like they just straight up told y'all, like, they, that Sagittarius told this person, like, I think we just kind of got caught up in the moment and things like that. And I feel like this person doesn't agree with a lot of things that Sagittarius says. And they're like, I feel like there's been a lot of arguments towards Sagittarius in this person and it's a lot of pinnacles up here so this you know earth sign could be a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn um I see Cancer up here and um yeah 
I basically see everybody up here. But let's get into love. Let's see what's going on in love. Let's see what's going on in love for my Saggies. I definitely feel like both of you guys mean a lot to each other, but I feel like this person feels felt controlled by Sagittarius. Like Sagittarius was almost always trying to tell them how to think and how to feel and was like controlling and they didn't like that. You see what I'm saying? And I feel they didn't need a mother. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't need a mother. But they know that everything that you were trying to tell them and trying to teach them was right, but they wanted to bump their head and come on and come to their own conclusion. And that's the thing with, with Sagittarius. Sagittarius is like, you remind me of my fucking father. Like, I'm not your... Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's still a lot of growth because... Yeah. I feel like a lot of you guys are still having a hard time releasing your ex. I will not release your ex. Mm-hmm. Do the finances and career. I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> says, let your friends help you. Didn't it say... Didn't it say seek a mentor or a guide? Uh, take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Let your friends help you. Hmm. Deception. There's still deception. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all that shit was lurking. I told you. Did I tell you not? I told you. Stop allowing this motherfucker in your environment. People be trying to make excuses for, oh, but no, because they need to see the kids. And then that motherfucker can see that the kids at the curb. Make this motherfucker go and get their own foundation where they can pick y'all kids up or whatever is your reason for this person still being around. And they can take that motherfucker. Oh, sorry, not that motherfucker. But y'all get what I'm saying. That motherfucker can take the kids, do whatever. In their space where it's not taking your motherfucking environment. Do you see what I'm saying? And you can do this shit on your own. Like this. You can do this shit on your own. You don't need this motherfucker. Stop begging this motherfucker for money. Don't ask this motherfucker for nothing. Nothing. Shock yourself and show yourself that you can do it. This motherfucker is deceptive. And this person just going to come and do this shit again. They feel like you weak for it. Make the, look, make the effort. This is like your best friend coming and kiss you. You deserve better. Make the effort. You don't need this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Let me give you some love. You all right. Stop going back to that motherfucker. Stop letting that motherfucker come in your... This motherfucker should not be passing your doorstep. And the more and more that you letting this person pass your doorstep, you opening yourself for this. And when it happens... So, you guys, if y'all friends just disappear for a minute and you don't talk to your friends for a good little minute and you don't know what the fuck is going on, that's because they're allowing this to happen. Mm -hmm. And your friends are trying to help you, but you don't want them to know because you won't release your ex due to finances and career. Hmm. Interesting. Make the effort. Because I want y'all to see and I want y'all to know this person think you sweet for it. I don't know nobody else, but I ain't going to have no fuck nigga running around here thinking they got they, <laughs> that shit. They about to run some sweet game on me. Look, calling your soulmate. Calling your soulmate. To... What does it say? True love is worth waiting for. Stop waiting for this person to change. And calling your true soulmate. Stop waiting for this person to change. Miraculously, this person is who the fuck they are. Okay? Stop deceiving yourself and thinking something different. Alright? Last break and we can up out of here, Sagittarius. Because I, I know this is over an hour. Especially with all that talking I was doing in the beginning. Give me some last words of wisdom for my Sagittarius is in love. As long as you with me. Page of Cups. Alright? 
page of cups you guys might be getting some messages of love some new offers of a new emotional beginning and this is something that seems very new or something from somebody that's younger than you strength okay you guys are demonstrating strength the sun is shining i feel like for sure you guys have resisted that old temptation because it was right behind your back trying to crawl right up in your ass and you said uh-uh bitch we good over here uh, mm -mm. i need i need i need me some new new now you you i need me some new new you're not on the platter honey bye bye <laughs> take care now bye bye then oh and then there's the ace of cups my dear all right most definitely some new love is coming in oh it's something that you're gonna know and you're gonna love honey it's gonna be something so brand new but when you feel it you gonna know it and you gonna love it and you gonna feel it. you know that real soulmate shit when you meet somebody and you just start talking to them and you see that that dub that piece just be flying all around and you just feel like damn why do i feel like i known you like it feel like on some deja vu level ass shit all right you see that lake of aphrodite pouring over abundantly oh honey come on now come on what is this? This is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. You are looking, you are taking inventory, and you are surveying the land of everything that you own. Mm-hmm. You are taking stock. You are remembering old memories of what things used to look like when you used to give yourself. Give, 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 give. And I feel like now that you took inventory of everything that you have, um... I definitely feel like you're holding on to your resources and you're only giving to people in situations that, you know, are deserving. You're not, you're not allowing people that is like going to try to come in and look over everything that you have and try to take advantage of you where you're going to regret giving to them. You see what I'm saying? See, so you are looking at everything that you have and everything that you've achieved because you want it to grow. You want you, you don't have no problem with giving to people, but as long as they're deserving. This person here is looking over everything that someone else has had and figuring out how they can take advantage of it. And you're like, uh-uh. That ain't the energy I'm allowing in my life. You are taking stock. You are surveying everything that you have. And I feel like you are appreciating the new love that is coming in. This is new. This is new love. And I feel like you are experiencing new love. You feel a lot of peace. You feel the sun shining on your back. Happiness has been illuminated to you. You learn how to control the beast. And this is something brand new. Grassroot level. This is something that Someone just planted a brand new seed in this new environment. You see what I'm saying? Because we realize that we have to be self-disciplined if we want this type of love to come in. Something that is a brand new experience. Something that is peaceful. Something that is joyful. Something that is making you look back at everything that you have. Everything that you've accomplished. Everything that you achieve and you appreciate it. You appreciate where you've come. And you holding on to it and you only giving to people that truly deserve it. Alright. What is this? The Six of Cups. Alright. So, this is someone that is getting over things from the past. This is, like I said, I feel like you are surveying and taking inventory of a lot of things in the past. Um, like I said, looking at family issues and a lot of things that affected the way you gave like I feel like you gave charitably to people that you ended up regretting giving to and it all was triggered from shit in your past and um I feel like you know that now you're looking at all of the seeds that were planted from the past and you are definitely realizing that the blessings are in the future. The blessings are in the future. But it's just like, I, I feel like this person is standing out on their balcony. Like, 
like I said, you surveying the land, you taking inventory, you standing out on your balcony just looking at everything from the past. And I've been I, I hearing, like, thank God I made it. Thank God I made it. This is the Ace of Wands. I feel like you're soaring. I feel like it's going to take a little bit more effort on your part. Okay? Because truly, on this side, this is the one where it's strength. Because it's going to take strength for you literally to call in. What are they telling you? To call in your soulmate. To call in your new blessings. It's going to take strength. If you look at his arm, you see the muscles. You see the strength. You see a foundation is being torn down. Problem solving. Determination. Drive. Effort. You ain't playing. You ain't playing. All right? This is where you need to be. But this is where you are right here. You, you see this person ain't using that muscle. And if you don't put more effort and tear down shit that don't need to be there, things that you are not being self-disciplined about, things that are tainting your environment, the sun is going to set very soon. The sun is going to set very soon. And things that you wanted to do, things that are soaring above your head that you want to achieve, you know, it's going to pass you by because of a lack of self-discipline to make changes in your environment. You understand what I'm saying? So the ones that are making changes in the environment, they're willing to get the fuck up in their chariot for real, for real, and move forward and realize I'm a problem solver. Number four means problem solving. If I can't reach it, get up on the horse. Climb the tree. It don't matter. I'm about to get this pinnacle and because God told me good blessings and fortunes is coming to me. Listen. New love. Fresh new love. Controlling your environment. All right? Everything in your environment, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. And you're going to realize this is you paying respect, almost paying homage to your past because if I didn't go through this shit with you, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. It took me a long time to get over this shit, but hmm, I don't regret it. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I got to tear that shit down and I had to learn what I needed to learn in order to survive. It's the survival of the fittest because we only got a short time in this world. And if I don't take control of my environment, all right, and be self-disciplined and put effort into making changes and really growing, if I don't accomplish and do the things that my heart desires, if I don't soar, if I don't be everything that I want to be, experience the true love that I want to experience, be the captain of my own ship, the master of my own destiny. If I don't do that, I don't have nobody to blame but myself. You understand? Put more effort. Tear down shit that don't need to be there. Take discipline. Self-discipline. Turn this card around. Listen, this growth card. Grow up. Learn what you need to learn. And clean up your environment. All right, Sagittarius, this has been your reading. I love you. I love you. I love you. If this video resonated, if it gave you clarity, hit that like button. If y'all want to book a reading, y'all know what to do. Um, Like I said, give me about a week. Check me out on Patreon because we are going to be live up on there. Be doing them, um, them, them weekly free readings. So, like I said, for anyone that cannot afford to purchase a private reading at this moment, if you just want to do the monthly membership, which, um, like I said, you can do the $1.99 tier, you know, where y'all can hop in on the lives and get y'all free private readings, and then we will be having, like, some late-night call-ins and stuff like that, too, which are all benefits from being a member over there. So, thank you guys again to supporting. Um, I love you. Peace.